Hello, hello, hello. The vacation is now over for practically everyone in, in the world. So in that sense, I think of this as being our first post-vacation problem. And I've decided that I will not start with the special relativity problem. I will wait with that two weeks. I think it's nicer that we start with something easy, as a warm-up. The problem today is a combination between math and physics. I put it in the category of easy problems. <laughs> Maybe not all of you will agree with me. It's interesting, in any case. Let's take a look at it. You can see this drawing that I made. It's not to scale. This is a disc with a radius 7R. And this is a disc with a radius R. Again, I stress it's not to scale. I'm going to roll this smaller one around the big one. And I'll be very specific in a minute what I mean by rolling. So I'm going to roll it around the big one. And once it has rotated around the big one once, I want to know how many rotations has the small one made. The condition, however, is that it cannot slip as it's moved around. It must be what we call in pure roll. So now comes the question, what is pure roll? If an object has radius r and it has rotated once around, if then it has moved over a distance 2 pi r, that is what we call rolling, pure roll. I will try to, to show it to you so that there is no misunderstanding. Okay, I think that will be okay. I hope it will be okay. Okay, so here I have a salt shaker. It's, um, it has a radius R. And when I do this, it slips. But I can also put it in pure roll condition. I push down on it, that makes it a little easier for me to do pure roll. This is pure roll. So if now it has made one complete rotation, it has moved, moved over a distance 2 pi r. I have here a baseball. Same thing. This baseball is now in pure roll condition. No slipping. This is slipping. Rolls like this. If it has made one complete rotation, it has moved over a distance 2 pi r. All right, now, I wasn't planning to post solutions. And the reason for that is that if you would see all the wrong solutions, <laughs> you would see only the wrong solutions, you would know in no time what the correct solution is. So, for sure I will not post perfect solutions, right answer and the right reasoning. That's for sure. However, I may not post wrong solutions either. So don't ask me, is my solution right, is my solution wrong? I may not post any. What that means is that if you don't see your solution, which of course I will read, that's a promise. If you don't see your solution posted, it doesn't mean at all that it was right. Okay, nice warmer problem, post-vacation. 
Take care, have a nice day, and I hope when you've seen the solution, which I will post on Saturday, September 9, I hope that you still want to be friends with me then. According to plan, by the way, I will post the special relativity problem Saturday, September 16. That's my plan. Of course, my plans can change. All right? So long.